Hi everyone, we're going to solve log equations using properties of logs. This is the kind where you have something like this. 3 times log base 2 of x minus 2 times log base 2 of 5x. And we have that equaling 2. So if you notice, I don't have a log base on this other side. And I want to show you a different way of doing this instead of using the um, um, converting to the exponential form, I'm going to multiply this by 1. So with logarithms, 1 is going to be log base 2 of 2. So recall that we have log base of a base, that equals 1, because the base to the first power equals the base. So that's all I'm doing. Now that I have that set up, I'm going to do like I did in the previous video and just use my uh, exponents here. So I'm going to uh, use my power property and move the 3 here. Use my power property and put the 2 here. And use the power property here and put the 2 here. So now I have basically um, log base 2 of x cubed. And then I'm going to condense this. This is going to be uh, over 5x squared equals log base 2 of 4. Now, basically, since you have one log on each side, you can uh, not deal with those anymore and then just solve. So what we're going to get is x cubed over 25x squared equals 4. And when you cross multiply you get x cubed equals 100 x squared. Um, I'm going to move everything over factor it out in x squared so we get x equals 100 or x equals 0. The 0 doesn't work. When you plug in 0, for example, in this first quantity, um, you get log base 2 of 0. And the logarithms, um, so if you have something like this, our quantity here for our domain, x has to be greater than 0. So this one doesn't work but our 100 does, so that's our answer, okay? So the next one is very similar. We have log base 5 of x plus 3 minus log base 5 of 2x minus 1 equals 2. We do not have a log on the right side of the equation. So I multiply this by 1. In log land, that would mean, uh, since my base is 5, I'm going to write this as log base 5 of 5. Because log base 5 of 5 equals 1. Okay? Now, I'm going to condense um, the left side and write it as a single log. use my power property here, I'm going to use log base 5 of 5 squared. Now, I can just solve. So I have x plus 3 equals 25 times 2x minus 1. Get x plus 3 equals 50x minus 25. So 49x equals 28. So basically x equals 28 over 49, which equals 4 over 7. And if you plug 4 over 7 in each of these pieces, it doesn't violate the fact that our quantity here, uh, if this quantity is called, say, x, this quantity has to be greater than 0. So that's our answer, x equals 4 over 7. It, the next one we have is log 
base 3 of d plus log base 3 of 3, which we already know equals 1, equals 3. Since I don't have a log over here, I'm going to multiply this by log base 3 of 3, because this, this whole thing equals 1. Now I'm going to condense the left side, write it as a product, a single logarithm. And this side, I'm going to use my power property, move the 3 here. So you get log base 3 of 3 cubed. So um, solve for d, we get 3d equals 27. So d equals 9. And if you plug in 9 in here, it works. So that's all for that one. Let's do some more. We have, um, let's do one with a 0. Log base 10 of y minus log base 10 of 2 minus y equals 0. Again, I don't have a log over on, on the right side, so I'm going to multiply it by 1. In log land, since my base is 10, I'm going to write it as log base 10 of 10, because that equals 1. I'm going to condense the left side and write it as a single log using the quotient property and use my power property on the right side. Now this cancels. Well, it doesn't really cancel. It's just we don't have to deal with it. So we have y over 2 minus y equals 10 to the 0. 10 to the 0 equals 1. So we have y equals, if you cross multiply, 2 minus y. Add y to both sides. You get 2y equals 2. So y equals 1. You plug 1 into these pieces here, and it does work. Okay. We'll try one more. Um... Let's use, um, okay, we're going to try one more, log base 2 of s plus 2 times log base 2 of 5 equals 0. So I'm going to multiply this side by 1, which is log base 2 of 2. I'm going to condense the right side, I mean left side, so this would be 5, I'm going to move, go ahead and move the 2 here. That's your power property. So 5 times 25 equals log base 2, and this should have had an x somewhere, though this is s. Sorry, this is s. All right, log base 2 of 2 to the 0. So cross that out, and you get, tw this is an S. 25S equals 1. I wish this was an S. Change this to X real quick. So this is going to be X, because I can't, it looks like a 5. So we have X equals 1 over 25. And that works when you plug it into the S because 1 over 25 is greater than 0. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.